Hello, my friends. For today's beer review, we're going to be taking a look at Rogue Brewery's Dead Guy Ale. Rogue Brewery's Dead Guy Ale, I won't lie to you, I don't know much about, but it does get incredible reviews. Um, they don't have the ABV listed on the bottle, so I'm assuming it's fairly low, probably close to average. Um, but without further ado, let's uh, bust the cap on this and get a pour on it. Pour a little vigorously here. That's really pretty. Pours to an extremely dark, slightly murky and unfiltered um, orangish amber color, as you can see here. Um, does not have much of a head, maybe about a half finger head on it. Uh, let's get a smell. Hmm. I'm picking up on a really, really light hop presence. Very earthy, um, kind of grassy, sort of. Mm. Really just some earthy notes, kind of like some grassy notes, maybe fresh spring water smell. Um, kind of similar, actually, to a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, if you've ever had that. Uh, just not quite as much of a hot presence. Um, as you can see, the head dissipates down to just a lacing on the top. Uh, so, let's give it a taste and see how it is. It's pretty good, I'm not going to lie. has a little bit of a hoppy taste, just so slightly citrusy. Um, if you can imagine the lightest IPA in the world, that's kind of how it tastes. Definitely has a bitterness to back it up. I'm starting to get some floral and fruity notes now. Almost like a very light grape kind of smell to it. Not in taste, though. It is pretty light on the carbonation. A little bit bitter. Just a little bit of sweetness to it as well. The longer I sit here and hold it, the more the uh, fruity, Floral notes start to shine through, honestly. Starting to get a little more sweetness now, for sure. Road Dead Guy Ale. I'm going to call this about a three star. No, about a 3.4 out of 5 um, ale. It's not the best ale that I've ever had, um, but it's definitely very good, um, very, very sessionable. Goes down smooth, uh, definitely not too bitter. Um, has just a little bit of sweetness to it and a little bit of uh, some fruity notes to change it up a little bit and keep it interesting on the palate. It's really good. Um, I suggest you guys check out the uh, Rogue Brewery Dead Ale. It may not be a repeat ale, but it's definitely worth trying. It has some really cool label art, as you can see there. And uh, so, yeah, that's Rogue Dead Guy Ale. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Go out and try yourselves one.